<laughs> Sergeant Pete Mays is lucky to be alive. In fact, he almost didn't get to welcome his new baby girl into the world. It all started about a year ago when he was finishing a 10K race. He was about 10 meters from the finish line when he heard two loud pops. Like gunfire going off and I fell down clutching my leg and I'm thinking, I just broke my leg. Mays had a classic stress fracture, a crack in the bone that with repeated stress finally gave way. Hey honey, you remember this? Uh, yeah, <laughs> nice. The treatment? A full leg cast, which he Very wore nice for a month, then one. a shorter half leg cast. Yeah. But hours after getting the new cast, he knew something was wrong. By the fifth day, he had a knife-like pain in his right ribs, and by midnight... He was gasping and saying, I, I, I just can't breathe well. And I said, do we need to call 911 or do we need to go? And he was like, go. So we rushed over to Reston Hospital and he was getting worse and worse as we were going over there. Sergeant Mays had a pulmonary embolism, or PE. Blood clots formed in veins of his immobilized leg, then broke off and traveled to his lungs where they blocked circulation. Fighting broke out over Remember NBC reporter David Bloom? He died from a PE after sitting in an armored vehicle for hours during Operation Iraqi Freedom. May says if he had known that he was at risk for a DVT, he would have recognized those early symptoms and gone to the hospital sooner. 